Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sipsco Coast. We are back. We have made, uh, well, <laughs> something anyway in Bagelsville. We made something in Bagelsville. Uh, last time we left off, we, um, we sort of, um, revamped Bagelsville, if you like. Uh, we made the under bagel, which is this, like, underground, uh, roundabout, which seems to be working pretty well. You can see it in action down here. Uh, and of course, Bagelsville has become some sort of, like, central, uh, hub, if you like, with its own, uh, big O, but it's an underground big O. Uh, and it's gonna connect up the rest of this part here once we unlock it or whatever. Satansville still needs a little bit of love as well, which it hasn't had. We're not quite done in Bagelsville. Uh, another thing that we need to desperately do is fix the metro system, because I accidentally deleted part of it, and therefore, uh, it's a complete mess right now. So, first things first. Let us do that. We're going to hop in here and we're going to create, um, or at least try to fix the goddamn metro line. I think if we, like, drag it to here, it might work. Is it going the right way, even? No. Look, see, when you drag it here, it goes this. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what. We're going to do it the easy way. And, of course, the easy way is uh, just by taking the double glaze line and uh, deleting it. There. It's gone. And then we can reinstate it. The double glaze line. We'll make sure that it's pink and everything again as well. This one should be okay. Uh, whatever one this is. I can't even remember what we called this. The Poppy Seed Express. That's right. Okay, so we got the double glaze line and the Poppy Seed Express. Uh, because of the sort of Bagelsville and Donutsville rivalry that's going on. Uh, no representation for Satansville or Clown Town. It's got to be said. Uh, but there you go. All right, fine. Let's add this line back in then. So we want it to go... This one's coming this way. So it needs to go the other way. So let's start it here, and then it can go down this way to here. And then it can go to here. All the way down here. It can stop here as well. It can stop up here. And then it has to go here. And then it has to come here. And then it has to reconnect with itself here. Wonderful. God, Jesus. All right, finally, it's sorted out. I'm, apologies from last time. I know that it was like a real rip and a half. Uh, double glaze line, perfect. Look, it's back to what it used to be. And even the exact same shade of pink. Look, it's like nothing ever happened. See, everything is business as usual in the Sipsco Coast. Wonderful, great. Okay, so we've got a lot of demand for commercial. We could do with having some commercial like uh, in this area here. We've got our little cargo yard here. I don't think we can delete this track, sadly. Uh, so we're gonna have to build around it. But Shoposaurus Rex can do with expanding out a little bit. And I think we can do that today. Uh, and then hopefully we'll stimmy some um, you know what. And by you know what, of course, I mean, what is all that dinging and donging? Anyway, back to the you-know-what. The you-know-what is uh, some uh, demand for residential. And then Bagelsville will be complete. And then we can tart it up and make it look real nice-like. Okay, excellent. So, this is a cargo yard. Let's do something really wacky here. Look, let's do, like, something truly wacky and have it go like this. I think that this is really wacky. And then we can have some trees and stuff so that the commercial on this side doesn't need to be aware of the fact that there's a cargo yard right there. I don't know how realistic that is, and I don't know, like, how nice it is for the, uh, commercial premises around here, but at the same time, kind of works. Kind of happy with it. I'm happy for it to, like, work rather than look nice, because the thing is, you can always make it look nice after, right? You can come in and you can place some trees, which is obviously, like, my favorite thing to do. You can come in afterwards and you can place, like, some pedestrian walkways and stuff, which is obviously... Another thing uh, that I very much enjoy doing. Look, we're going to just add, like, road all the way around here. And, like, reconnect up to here. Perfect. And then we can have, like, just a little dingle-donger thing coming off here. Look at that. To make use of the space. Line not finished. Oh, it's this line. <laughs> Look, whatever line this is. I think there might still be some stops under here or something. Or maybe they're bus stops that I managed to screw up. Oh, shit. You know what? I just realized I probably screwed up all the bus lines here, too. Did I? Where's the bus lines? Are these bus lines? Can we delete these bus lines, do you think? Look, there's a whole bunch of them just here. It's because of that node tool. Oh, that's going to bug me forever. What could it be? Is it a bus stop? There is no bus 
line coming into Bagelsville. So do you think we should make one? I feel like, yeah, we should actually. Where the hell is the metro station in Bagelsville? We deleted that too. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, what we're going to have to do then is... Oh, and this works perfectly. Look, we can get a metro line right here. Look, we'll be right back to what we were doing before. We can get a metro station, like, right on here. Right next to Mr. Bagel himself. And then we can just, like, sort of connect it up. Okay, this is going to be great. All right, we're going to knock down a house here. And we're going to connect up this to this like that okay and then we're just gonna look at listen to all this dinging and donging it's crazy okay and then we're just going to gently have a stop here and also a stop here look at that it hasn't messed it up at all and bagelsville now has metro services once again and it needs bus services now too as part of the ongoing uh, refurbishment of bagelsville okay fine so we want to have a bus stop right outside the metro station pretty much uh, it can go, like, down here. It's just going to connect up, like, everywhere in Bagelsville possible. Uh, well, I say that. It's got to have, like, really good sort of um, coverage so that we get the best of... Oh, look at this. It can't figure out what to do. Look, it's going to go underground, but you can't see it going underground. Look, it can actually stop underground as well. That's incredible. That is incredible. Okay, so where is this going to go? This can go to, like, here. It can come over here as well. We don't necessarily need it to go underground, but if it does need to go underground, it can. Holy shit, listen to all the dinging and the donging happening. It's crazy. There's a lot of dinging and donging happening today. It's like Christmas Day here in Bagelsville. It's incredible. Can we go underground here? Like, if it goes under here and then tries to go, like, around this way and maybe... No, it's like trying to take, like, the longest possible route out. It's kind of nuts, actually. All right, uh, where can it go from here? Where should it go? It can go to here, and then maybe it can, like, come under here. Is it, like, is that working? What happens if it comes out this way? Oh, no. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. It'll go under here and then back onto itself or not? Oh, my God. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a real mess. It doesn't really matter, though. Look, okay, it'll come to here. Come to we just need the coverage. Who cares, right? Look at this. The coverage is incredible, but the bus will literally take like 10 years uh, to make it back to where it needs to go. Okay, perfect. Look at that coverage. Oh my god, it's incredible. All right, fine. Let's do this then. We have to click on uh, the bus route. We need to call this one the... What do we want to call this one? Not Nothing to do with poppy seeds, because we already have the poppy seed express. Let's call this one... The, oh, cinnamon raisin, raisin, huh? The cinnamon raisin express. Am I right or am I right? And let's make it like a, like a brown color for the cinnamon raisin. A very, very popular type of bagel. Uh, let's add a couple more buses uh, to this route as well. Let's, let's get like six buses on this route because it's going to take forever for it to get around. Perfect. And that reminds me as well, on our new subway line, we're going to need to add a couple of more trains. Let's get like six trains on here so that it matches up with the Poppy Seed Express. And if we just check the Poppy Seed Express, it's got six trains too. Perfect. All right, great. All right. Bagelsville is dinging and donging away silently down there, or should I say quite loudly actually. Uh, but it is completely hooked up. Look at that. The metro station is in full effect. The bus stop is in full effect. And look, it's right near, like, the touristy area of Bagelsville. We're going to get rid of these houses after and plant some trees and shit. It's going to be great. All right, perfect. Let's get back in here and let's get some... We're going to get some dense commercial in here, I think. I think we need some dense commercial in here uh, to really sort of um, get things going for Bagelsville. Because we need to, to build, like, all those houses and stuff, right? Because there's a whole bunch of them that haven't been built yet, and we're desperate for some houses. We want some residents to move in. We want our population to get up and over 40,000 people, if possible. That would be great, too. All right, we're going to do, like, this, like, weird sort of... Uh, it's kind of like a... I guess it's sort of like a bit of a grid, but it's not really. I don't know what you would call that. Or maybe I have just actually uh, named it properly. Sort of like a grid, but not really. Can we settle with that? Is that fine? Okay, fine. I'm, I'm good with settling with that. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. And, and let's do like this, because that's crazy. And then we'll do something like this as well. Okay, great. We now have uh, what looks like kind of like a Power Rangers helmet or like something from Star Wars. Like this is the visor here, and this is like the mouthpiece that they talk out of. And this is, of course, the lasers coming out of the front of the helmet. 
That looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, Shoposaurus Rex is now going to expand, like, in a major way. We have to make sure that we have uh, the pipe works set up here. So we'll just call in the Sipsco Coast Water Company to once again dig up fields and places that you would never expect pipes to be under because they're crazy. Uh, and pipe it all up. Perfect. Uh, and then let's get some dense commercial in here. We're going to line this whole area with dense commercial. But at the same time, we want to get some trees and stuff to separate the commercial from the cargo container thing and also the tracks. See, we're going to pack them all in. See, when you pack them in, exactly like the movie Field of Dreams, if you pack them in, they will come. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to pack them in um, and make the people come to this area of the city. And we're going to need some services and stuff down here as well. Actually, this place could probably use its own huge fire station. Let's put one in here. Just for these people that work in this part of Shop Source Rex. Excellent. And what about a nice big police station as well? Okay, fine. Don't say I never do anything for you, Shop Source Rex, because look at this. Holy shit, you got everything you need. You want a, like a big ass hospital in here as well? Or maybe like some sort of crematorium? Would you like that? Okay, well, Shoposaurus Rex is not responding. Okay, excellent. And then just for good measure as well, let's shove some offices in here too, because why not, right? We're always going to need offices, and I think that it's nice to have, like, administrative uh, headquarters for all of the shops close by as well, so that uh, these people can just, on their lunch break, leave their retail jobs, uh, and then they can go off and do a bit of admin in the admin buildings. I think that's a nice thing to do. I think it, it the quality of life in this whole area is going to be utterly fantastic. And hopefully we'll have lots of cargo shipments coming into this uh, cargo yard here as well. I haven't left um, any room, sadly, uh, for tracks to go down through here. So we're going to have to figure that out later. Um, but that's fine for now. We've met all of the demands for commercial. We've met most of the demands now for offices. And we have plenty of residential popping up uh, this side of Bagelsville. Has Bagelsville even expanded out yet? No, it hasn't. I can't believe it. God, I'm such a careless mayor. Look at that. We have to listen to the song Careless Whisper, but replace the lyrics with Careless Mayor. Shoposaurus Rex can uh, take the highway maintenance, I think, especially here, and maybe encompass a little bit of this, like, pretzel balls. Uh, and we'll have to, like, sort of encroach on this area here, which is actually quad balls junction but it's now kind of shoposaurus rex as well with all of shoposaurus rex's policies which currently consist of nothing excellent okay is traffic going to be too crazy in here possibly we may need some sort of arterial road coming up here uh but i think it's a little bit too late because we just have a, a two-way road up against the cargo yard so we might have to move it at some point, but for now, I think we'll be okay. Look, there's a couple of trucks and stuff coming out of here and trying to get back onto the highway. Uh, but, of course, life is a highway. And I'm going to ride it all day long. And probably all night long as well. And that really actually made no sense. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, we want to have uh, some sort of uh, walkway coming over here and connecting all this up as well. So that people don't necessarily have to use the card. And, of course, we want to make sure that they don't actually need to, like, get anywhere close to the cargo yard either. But it'd be cool if they could go over the train tracks because everybody loves to walk over a fuck. Okay, that works. <laughs> that, that's fine. We almost didn't have enough room, but uh, luckily... I mean, that is quite a deep one. Uh, when I say deep, I mean steep, of course. Uh, but it didn't stop this man from walking his dog across it. He's just got, like, um, exceptional leg muscles at this point, uh, which is nice, actually. It's nice to have really cool and sweet leg muscles. All right, we need some parks on this side of the world as well. Uh, so let's get a large playground in here for the people of Bagelsville West, I guess. Perfect. Uh, and we're going to need some sort of, like, plaza with trees in here for the people of Shoposaurus Rex West. If that's, if that's a thing, maybe it is a thing. A plaza with trees there, and then what? One across the way, too? So this one is obviously for the cool kids, and this one is for the not-so-cool kids to eat their lunch in. There'll be some sort of rivalry across the street, but luckily there's street here. Actually, we should probably upgrade this to have trees so that nobody parks their cars along here. That's nice, actually. Look at that. Just like a nice little bit of nature in the middle of some sort of concrete jungle. Fantastic. All right. 
Uh, the dinging is happening. The donging is happening. There is a lot of traffic trying to get into Shop Source Rex at the moment. Uh, so we could maybe do with having another entrance, like here ish, a one way, if you like, uh, like to here. And then we'll have like an another exit, like further up here, possibly, because this is just going to get like way, way, way too congested. It's going to be crazy, actually. Um, okay, so that's an entrance. That's a way in, but not a way out. So we should hopefully be able to alleviate some traffic that way. Uh, and then we can have, like, another sort of way in that way, and then maybe a way out uh, up this way, just over the tracks, if possible. Can we do that? Can we get up and over the tracks? If not, we might have to tunnel underneath the tracks. Okay, tunneling underneath the tracks seems to not really work, actually. I don't know why. Maybe it's like too steep or something? Space already occupied. Already occupied. We can do that. That'll take us right to the track. But I don't know if we want to interfere with the track too much either. Okay, fine. We might need to rethink this. Because there is a lot of traffic. And there's a lot of dinging going on in the background too. Jesus, can you hear all of that dinging? It's good. It means that we're probably making a lot of money. I mean, we've got six million in the bank. And it probably means that, like, every house... Where is all these upgrades happening? It's crazy. I can't believe it. It's just ding, 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 ding constantly. Okay, well, there's a couple of dead people now inside of Shop Source Rex as well. And that's probably owing to the fact that there's just so much traffic. None of these hearses can come in and out, I suppose. Let's put a burner, like, right here. There we go. And we'll call this one the Shop Till You... Whoa. Hang on a second. Come on, mouse. We'll call this one the Shop Till You... Drop. Burner. <laughs> there you go. There. Literally people come here, they shop until they drop, and then they're carted away to here to be incinerated. And I think that that's a nice thing. Uh, we should probably also have one on this side as well, uh, for people who perish during their lunch break at the park. We'll have it right next to the park, pretty much, on this road here. And we'll call this one the lunch till you drop. Holy crap. The intensity inside of Shopasaurus Rex is palpable, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. All right, fine. And let's get a couple of more offices just in here because there's some demand for them. And it's nice to just have, like, some offices and some uh, other shit down here as well. Like, we'll, like, fill all this stuff up. Get offices in here as well. Perfect. All the offices are now moving in. Great. We'll have like a couple of offices along here as well. And then we probably want some trees and stuff on the other side. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that we would want some trees on the other side. Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, traffic is terrible here. I don't know if it's just because this is all just sprung up suddenly and now everybody's trying to get here. It may sort itself out after a while. Uh, but we could at least sort of help things along a little bit by having a uh, six lane road with grass leading up to at least here. Look at that. That is better already. Look, there's there's options now. We can really fill it up and get rid of some of this congestion, hopefully. Come on. You can, you can go now. It's your turn, I think. Yeah, okay. It's their turn to go. Wonderful. All right. It's really emptying out now. That's perfect. We could even do with, like, some sort of direct highway connection. Look at Quad Paul's Junction now. <laughs> Look at all of this traffic. Holy crap, it's crazy. Uh, Donutsville is immense now. Uh, Bagelsville just doesn't even resemble itself anymore. It's completely, completely changed. It's crazy. All right, let's hop back into here while the traffic is sorting itself out. And let's get rid of all of this stuff here. Because we want this to be like a nice big central park. Because this, of course, is the site that is directly above the Underbagel. So it can be called like the Underbagel Park or something. We'll make like, we'll add like an actual park in here, probably. Like some sort of like playground or two, if, if it'll fit. Of course, the whole thing is like round and prob probably won't fit at all, sadly. Will this large play? Well, that has no hope of fitting. Okay, fine. We're just going to have to make a manual park then, which is fine. We're going to have a path uh, that leads to Mr. Bagel himself here. And look at this. We're going to add a custom crosswalk here as well using this cool crosswalk mod. Let's add it like right here so that people can cross over and get to Mr. Bagel. And also, it serves as like a little shortcut to get down to the metro and bus station as well, which is quite nice, isn't it? 
Okay, uh, let's also go back into here and we'll have another path that sort of leads off to here and connects like there, I suppose. And then we can have another one that sort of connects up to here. And it just gives uh, people options to walk through, uh, which is quite nice. And then we can also knock down this house with a path here. Oh, look at this. This one's going to go like over here. Holy crap, this is going to look awesome, actually. Okay, look, we're going to connect it up down here. Okay, no, it didn't actually... <laughs> it, did, it didn't make a bridge like I thought it would. In fact, it's just, like, made this crazy hill that I wasn't expecting it to make. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, so if we go, like, page up here... Or not. Maybe we want to, like, just page up at this point. So that it's, like, here. And then we can page down again and get to... Okay, well, that looks a lot worse than it did before. It's just like the reverse of what we managed to do. But at the same time, I think it's probably going to be something quite fun for the people of Bagelsville. Look at that. Already, people are using this in anger, uh, which is great. Okay, they're very angry, and they're using this, like, wacky crosswalk that I've created over the top of the under bagel. All right, fine. We'll get a whole bunch of trees in here to make it look like a little bit more realistic because it's a little bit sparse at the moment. Look, we'll get a whole bunch of nice trees in here. Just get like a couple of trees dotted around here maybe and here too. Possibly here. We want to get like some trees up in here as well. Just to like um, give people a nice view when they're going on this wacky and crazy walkway. Uh, and along here as well and probably just like up in and around here a little bit so that people don't have to like look at that tunnel too much and the tunnels are great aren't they they really are fantastic holy crap i'm really pleased with the tunnels look at that it's just so cool it just like see woo, a whole bunch of stuff just comes flying out of it it's so awesome okay uh we'll like fill in some of these gaps here with trees as well and then i can just come back and like fill the gaps with all the trees and stuff because it's something that i like doing and if it's too boring for you guys to watch, don't worry, I'll just do it in my spare time, happily. God, I, I would love to spend most of my spare time just doing this. Uh, I find it very relaxing, as I've said many, many times before. Uh, but also, I think that the city just looks better when there's lots of, like, trees uh, filled in to all of these gaps. It's nice filling in a gap, isn't it? It's like polyfiller, right? You just shove it into a crack and then boom, just expands to fill the crack. That's how I feel about trees. Trees are like my polyfilla. <laughs> out here, out here in the in in the woods that I'm creating manually with each satisfactory thud sound effect. Oh man, this is the life. Look at this. We've got like all these trees in here too that I never meant uh, for there to be. All right, we've got a little bit of a traffic jam here. Um, oh my god, are you guys ready for this? I mean, this is like the kind of the way into Bagelsville. It's got signs and everything. Guys, this is going to be fantastic. Look, I'm going to use this node thing, but I'm just going to get rid of trees this time. There we go. It's only getting rid of trees. We haven't, like, messed up the metro or anything. Wow. Gosh, that was unexpected, actually. I was not expecting to become a colossal city. We can now make a nuclear power plant, uh, which is a... Holy shit, look at all these unique buildings that we have and that we're working towards. A uh, nuclear power plant is kind of a scary prospect, isn't it? Especially for somebody like me, uh, who's not very um, trustworthy whatsoever with anything. All right, fine. We're going to make um, a monument in here to Mr. Bagel. Uh, and we're going to make like a really nice smiling face out of trees. Or should we have a serious face that represents the serious nature <laughs> of bagels? Okay, fine. We're going to get some bushes for the eyebrows. There we go. Some nice bushes for the eyebrows. Just to sort of show that that serious streak. The people of Bagelsville are very serious. They take their livelihood. They take their bagels very seriously. And we're going to have, like, maybe a palm tree at the top. To signify just a little, like, sort of letterman tuft of hair. Okay, great. Well, now everybody knows how serious Bagelsville is. And, um... From this height here, we can all see how serious the traffic problems uh, are as well. But don't worry. It'll be fine. We're running out of water, though, um, at the same time. And actually, holy crap, there's large sections of Bagelsville without pipes. The, uh, the water company of Sipsco Coast is 
just receiving lawsuits left, right, and center at this point. Uh, which is not the best at all, actually. We're going to have to shove another one of these in here somewhere if they'll fit. Oh my god, okay. Well, Satansville is going to have a little bit of noise to contend with, sadly. Because we've just installed two new water pumps right on their doorstep. But it's tough shit, Satansville. Okay, Bagelsville South has had to deal with this noise forever. What is that? Is that not working? Did it just stop? Are there maintenance costs? That is crazy. All right. Fine. Uh, a couple of other little things that we need to do as well. We need to provide a um, sort of pedestrian um, access to uh, the west and the east parts of Bagelsville. And I think this is how we're going to do it. Look, it's going to come down gently like this and then just sort of connect up like that. There. So now, if people have relatives and they're from the east side of Bagelsville and they need to get to the west side lickety split, they don't even need to take their car. Look at that. They can just go like on a majestical walk across this four lane road that has trees in it as well. And of course those trees have no chance of growing underneath that. But look at this. We'll just tart it up a bit with some trees and stuff. Make it look kind of realistic if we can. We've got the tunnel here that we probably want some trees next to. So we've got this like burner here. It's like the Bagelsville Grill or something. Uh, and we got this big ass fire station and also there was a building on fire there. But I was just trying my best to ignore it because I don't like to highlight the fact that things may go wrong in the city because generally they don't. Except for maybe traffic sometimes. Although this traffic isn't too bad right now. This traffic is quite bad actually. It's, it has to be said. Whoa, my god, what is happening? Um, look at that. That is one snake in queue. These people are literally stuck in traffic for like three, four days at this point. Uh, we could probably alleviate that with a metro connection, though, and also probably uh, buses. Which we could do right now, very quickly. Uh, and let's, we'll see if it actually works. Okay, fine. So, uh, we have a metro connection that comes, well, nowhere close to here, actually. Uh, which is sad. So, we will probably want to have a metro station... Uh, in and about where the where the lunching parks are. So I'm thinking like right here sort of where's that park? The park is here. So we want to have it like kind of close to the park. Maybe just like on the corner here? There, that's fine. I think that that's fine. And then look we can have the tunnel sort of connect up in a very lazy way just like this. Will it connect? Yes it will. Okay fine. And then all we need to do is maintain the line but look just drag a line down here. So it comes down here, right? But then it just gets back onto the main line the way that it needs to go. And it's a really lazy way of doing it, but at the same time, it's probably pretty effective. And I think, as you can tell, the dinging and the donging has started, and hopefully people will use this now. It looks like they are. Look, it looks like a lot of people are just using the metro, using it effectively. And look at this, we're going to have a bus route, because there's no, there's not a bus route at the moment at all inside of Shopasaurus Rex, if you can believe that. And in fact, oh yeah, there is this crappy one here. I can't even remember what this is called. Okay, well, we're going to need another one anyway, and it's going to have to be, look at all the people down there waiting already. Holy crap. Okay, we got a bus route. There. Shopasaurus Rex is going underground, everybody. Uh, we're going to have a stop here, we're going to have a stop here, we're going to have a stop here, we're going to stop up here, look, we're going to stop here, we're going to zigzag into here as well, to stop like here, we're going to do this as well, and then we're probably going to come like down here-ish, uh, and then we're going to like zoom back in here, and maybe like have a stop here, and then we're going to come back up this way, and then we're going to reconnect. And that's crazy, but it may just work. Okay, fine. So, we want to go back into here, and we want to rename this bus route to be the Shop Shopaholic Express. Express. The Shopaholic Express. And, of course, that needs to be, like, kind of like a lime color. There we go. And look, it's almost sort of, like, accented the fact that this looks like a Power Rangers helmet now, too. Holy crap. All right, so we wait for the, oh my God. Look at, there's like actual high rises built here too. I think we've like nailed it with services here. Look at all these commercial buildings springing up. 
Jeez, that looks awesome, actually. <laughs> Shopasaurus Rex is, is pretty amazing. All right, so we probably have some more work to do with traffic, but for now, I think that that's fine. We've got metro connection and bus connection. We've got some tarting up to do, certainly. Uh, we probably have some land value to raise, like, on the outskirts of this area as well. Uh, but so far, so good, I think. I think we're probably in pretty good shape. Uh, in fact, actually, I think straight away, look at this. We can just do this. You guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? There. Okay, fine. That is holding a lot of traffic. And hopefully it'll clear the backlog. And hopefully you enjoyed that song as well. Wonderful. Holy shit. Okay, well, Sipsco Coasts continues to expand and get better. We now have like a, almost like a mini downtown over here in Shopasaurus Rex, thanks to these uh, high density commercial buildings. Bagelsville has um, sort of grown and expanded, which is nice. I think we've unlocked another tile, which uh, I should probably check actually. Yes, we have. Okay, look at this. Bagelsville Beach can become a thing. <whistles> Booyah! Excellent. Okay, next time we can build Bagelsville Beach and uh, expand Bagelsville down here. Uh, we have some um, work to do on Satansville. We got to fill in some of these gaps because there's lots of gaps. Uh, we've got some work to do up and around here for Bagelsville as well because uh, I can't see anything building, and that's probably because I didn't put anything to build there. But looking good. Man, Sipsco Coast is really coming along, isn't it? We probably need to look at services next time as well, and we'll probably have to fix uh, this up here as well. We need some, definitely some more internal train connections, uh, and an external one would be pretty useful as well, because I think Royal Oil Valley is probably completely tapped out, and there's probably a lot of traffic trying to get to it uh, for deliveries and stuff. But all that can happen at a later date. For now, Thank you, as usual, very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this series. I'm certainly still enjoying playing this game. Um, if you ever start to get bored of it or whatever, let me know, because uh, we can move on to something else. But uh, for now, uh, we seem to be going pretty strong still, uh, and it's still very fun. And uh, I'm enjoying seeing Sipsco Coast uh, sort of develop and uh, grow and expand and everything. It's quite good. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and... I'll see you next time.